Today I'm going to do a super fun DIY project and we're going to be making over this bird art into something really fun that could be used um, in your home decor like above your sofa or in a bedroom and it's going to be a little bit of fall theme because you know why not but basically this is like the best beginner project because I'm upcycling something I have so if it doesn't go right it's all good we can rework it also um, this is super like budget friendly like if you have an old piece of artwork and you're looking around your house grab it and let's do this project together because all you need is plaster and a big old canvas. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm a self-taught DIYer and I'm here to teach you how to use power tools and create a beautiful home on a budget, plus lots of small home organization tips. So I'm just going to start off by giving ourselves a blank canvas. So I'm painting this with white paint, just regular interior paint so you probably have some lying around that you might have used. This bird artwork has been in my parents' basement for like 10 years. I bought this when I thought this was really cool and trendy, and then over time, no one wanted it. But we didn't have the heart to get rid of it. I've been getting a lot of questions on what am I actually using for the like texture. It is so simple. You do not need to mix anything. You don't need to get anything fancy. This is really inexpensive, like, Spackle. So this is the kind of stuff that you use to fill your nail holes, patch a hole in the wall. You probably have this at home if you've done any type of DIY project. So you just grab this and literally I just am scooping it out. Ugh, hold on. So you're scooping it out. See? Okay. And all you're mixing in is regular old acrylic paint, like craft paint. Craft paint you can get from the dollar store. If you want to use leftover paint for a project you did, that's fine. But you can just go to the dollar store and get that paint. So this is like such an easy budget project. I'm so excited to start this project. So I'm just scooping out my drywall spackle and I'm adding in the paint. So I'm gonna keep mine in the brown family. So I'm just mixing in a little bit of paint and you'll see that a little bit goes a long way. And you wanna get it to the texture where it feels almost like a buttercream frosting. So the color is getting lighter, right? So I think just keep that in mind when you pick out your colors because you're mixing it with white. Like I didn't want that really like chocolate brown. I wanted something a little bit softer, which is what this is. So I think with something like this, you just wanna take the pressure off because like, if it doesn't work out, like, what does it matter, right? Like, I use a scrap, or like, I use like an old canvas, I can paint it again, like, it's just not a big deal, it's just to have fun. So let's see. Ooh, it looks like frosting, it actually looks so yummy now. All right, let's try it. I wanna give some texture to this canvas first, so I'm just gonna go ahead with like this big knife and just start texturing it with the brown and the white, just to give it some dimension on the underside as well. Okay, let's go. This must be the fun part anyways, so. Put a drop cloth down. <laughs> as soon as I started to do this, I realized this wasn't actually the look I was going for. It looked kind of like, well, you know, let's just say it, poo. So I just kept going because I thought maybe it'll look better once I have more on it. I don't know, sometimes you just, you know, I was delusional. No, who was I kidding? This was not gonna look good. So I took a wet paper towel and started to try and wipe it off, but it wasn't really coming off. It actually set really quickly. Um, so then I thought, okay, let me add some white spackle. This, uh, yeah, this did not work either. Okay, this is getting worse and worse. So remember when I said, don't overthink it? Well, also, <laughs> don't underthink it. Okay, I think I'm actually just gonna go and paint it white again. I am a little bit nervous, but I used to be an art student in high school, so of course I'm gonna channel that energy into this artwork. I got this little set of palette knives, so I'm gonna use these to make the different types of flowers. I decided to change my approach and I'm gonna do little flowers instead, and these are so cute. Um, there's all these different palette knives with different shapes, and you can make flowers and leaves, dots, just all different types of texture, so I just started to have fun with it. Honestly, if I was to do this project again, I probably would have started off by practicing on a piece of scrap cardboard until I got the hang of like the pressure and how to move your wrist for these little palette knives. So today I'm gonna use mostly white um, and I want to work a lot faster because I think this just took me way too long, so. 
And actually, you probably need less than you think. Like, I'm surprised at how little I've been using. But we'll start with the white today. And I'll mix in a little bit of the brown, but yeah, it's fun to keep it white. This is such a therapeutic project. I put on some Taylor Swift because yes, I am a Swifty. Guys, I've been following her since she was 16 and I was like 16. <laughs> And I just really had fun with it. I think that, you know, you can kind of get lost in the project and there's like beauty in that and just trying to figure out where to fill in the gaps and what colors to do. It's just really magical. So I just used like a dark brown paint and then I made it lighter every time by adjusting how much paint and how much spackle I put in. So today I have to fill in some of these gaps and actually I think that filling in these gaps is the harder part. Filling in the small gaps is harder because you can't really use the knife the way you want to. Like there's just not enough space and you're always scraping up against the other flowers. So in this case, make sure you let um, some of the flowers around the area you're working with dry and then go in. I ended up filling in a lot of dots because that was just really easy. But I love the way it looked. Honestly, it was so pretty. And I love these neutral colors. The neutral textured artwork looked beautiful, but I felt like it was a little bit unfinished. So I wanted to give it a frame to really make it look like it was something I could have bought at a home decor store. If you don't have a saw at home, the hardware store will cut this for you for free, or you can use a handsaw. So I cut a simple frame out of one by two pine and then I conditioned it and I used a darker wood stain. Okay, so because you see how the frame is wood, so because this is wood, we can just nail this directly in I used my brad nailer to nail this in, but again, you could just use a hammer and nails. You could probably even use some really strong type of glue as well. Isn't this so pretty? I love how this turned out. It's just like a really neutral, calming piece of artwork. There is so much beautiful texture in this artwork. I'm sure if I walked into a home decor store, I would see something very similar. And I paired it in this bedroom makeover that I did recently for my mom. And I think it's just really nice because it pops against the blue wall. Doesn't this artwork look stunning? And I just used a piece of old artwork that I already had. So I'm sure this is a project that really anyone can do. It is so easy and really fun. So I hope you like this project. And if you do, make sure you give this video a subscribe. And I'll see you next time for my next budget DIY.